We are now joined by Euronews Kiev correspondent Angelina Karakina. Angelina, over the last three days, more than a thousand protesters have asked for medical help. What is the general mood among Ukrainian activists? Are they still ready to put themselves in danger or is the flame dying? Fire. The plan is to stay and to continue the protest. As the demonstration goes on by day as well as by night, the number of injured is constantly increasing. Medical volunteers help people on the spot. Many also go to see a doctor at hospitals. Protesters' injuries are diverse. There are injuries from stun grenades, rubber bullets. In the aftermath of recent clashes, some people had to have eye surgery. There is also information about people disappearing from hospitals. Their friends and relatives are looking for them. The media's attention is glued to the area around the parliament in Kiev, which became the epicenter of clashes. What is the role of Independence Square where the protests started? Independence Square was transformed into a hub of support and a place to rest. There are medical tents where you can get some hot food, dry clothes and any other help. Activists are concerned by the growing presence of young, muscular men with baseball bats in the city. Civil patrols are organized to monitor the situation around the city. While sporadic clashes continue, has there been any development over negotiations? So-called preliminary consultations between the opposition and the president's administration are said to have been taking place. Also, opposition leader Vitaly Klitschko went to see Viktor Yanukovych for the second time, this time to the president's administration building. However, Klitschko said the president didn't turn up.